the <laughs> Hard Not Life tour. Yeah. One of the illest hip hop tours, in my opinion, you know what I'm saying, of all time. Yeah. Like, y'all, X, Rockefeller, like were everybody. We introduced to Ja Rule on that tour. You know what I'm saying? Ja Rule, so. Emil, yeah. Emil, like, mm, man. Beans. Go, go happy birthday, birthday. Happy born day, Beans. Hey, happy born day, Beans. Happy born day, You know what I'm saying? But, like, being a part of that tour and then seeing, in particular, DMX, like, yeah. up close. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, and you know, when you're on tour with, 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 a, with a group like that, it's. There's there's opportunity for to for, to be very separate, but there's also opportunity to be very together. Yeah, you know absolutely. I mean? in, in common areas. So, talk a little bit about that, man, and, and like seeing these guys. Well, as far as X goes, um, we like I said, I met him at the video shoot, so that's all I had ever heard of X. Um, they go on the Survival of the Illest tour. I was doing some Wu Tang shit, or maybe acting. I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but they came to the Apollo. So all those acts came to the Apollo. X, all them niggas, right? So I'm on stage with former Red Man and them and shit, and I'm thinking, the Apollo ain't giving me enough motherfucking love out here and shit. Fuck y'all niggas. Mm. Right? So then X comes on. And I'm thinking, they're going to shit on him too. They just shit on Method Man. They're going to shit on him too. X went out there. They knew every fucking word to every fucking songs I've never heard of before. I'm they knew, like this nigga... Like you see the, the, the footage of him performing in front of like a mm-hmm. mass amount of people, shit. right? Yeah. That ain't shit compared to the Apollo. Mm. Now, when you think of the Apollo, you know that's a tough fucking crowd. That's Period. Right. That nigga went up in there, man. It was like, man, niggas was in there going crazy and shit. The, the, the chicks was damn near coming up out they shit. And he murdered that shit. So fast forward, Hard Knock Life Tour. I already knew what it was going to be from that moment. I don't think Jay knew what it was going to be. Uh, me and Red Man would come on. Sometimes the lights would still be on. People still be getting in their seats and shit. And we talking like the first five shows. I was a little pissed about that. I ain't gonna lie. But all we had going for ourselves at that point in time was we had hit records and we had a gimmick that we would do at the end of the, the act where we would fly. Mm-hmm. And sing stole that shit. And y'all know y'all did. Fuck out of here. Yeah. That shit. For they fucking no strings attached to them. These niggas on. Now they on shit. Whatever. We do the damn thing. No lie though. After like the fifth show, people started showing up early. It's like Merit Man and Method Man be tearing that motherfucker up. Jay had to even fucking admit that shit, you know? But then X comes on. X comes on after us. All you hear is a boom, boom. Mm-hmm. You know, people's <laughs> like this now, get quiet. Boom, boom. <laughs> then you hear a little bit of talking. When that nigga said, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Jay wasn't lying, man. Jay wasn't lying. You could. Everybody that was on that tour at that point in time was like, nigga, we can just pack our shit and go. <laughs> we can just pack our shit and go. So he's going through his set and his energy. This nigga got asthma. He go back and forth. I mean, na 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 Dripping sweat. They going crazy. In between songs, he can't even hear what he's saying because they screaming. He's trying to talk to them. They screaming. Comes up out the shirt. It's over. He up there with the shirt off now. He, if he walk on with the dog, it'd make it even more better. Oh, yeah. Right? Man. Cause I'm looking at the spectacle of this shit now, like this nigga's incredible. So by the time the shirt's off, he got him in the palm of their hands, then the prayer. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna keep it a buck, cause I love X, right? The first 10 nights he did that shit, I felt like I wanted to cry. Cause I knew his story. After the first 10, after that, I was like, man, hurry up with this motherfucker. <laughs> <shit, man." laughs> Fuck out of here, man. Hurry up with this shit, man. Yeah. They got anybody crying this shit. Hurry up with this shit, man. God damn it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was an event. That Hard Knock Life tour. No incidents, nobody fighting. Um, everybody got along and shit. And a great movie came out of it. Yeah, and um, Eve. Eve was introduced to us as well on that tour. She was killing it every night, though. I can't, I, like, I couldn't be a new artist and that's my first shit. That's crazy. That's crazy, right? And right. they and Ja handled it well. Eve, Emil was good. Emil was good. Um, but Beans every night, acapella, no music. Yeah, <sighs> like nigga, you know how many people out there? It's a yeah. spitter. It's like I don't give a fuck, nigga. Drawn ass nigga. Wrong <laughs> ass nigga. <laughs> every time you see him beep his horn <laughs> ass nigga. It's <laughs> <laughs> <And> smack bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Word. So yeah. <laughs> I disagree with Jay on that point of it. Like it was hard for him to keep up because it wasn't. Jay Jay was up there doing his numbers. He had so many hits and shit, man. You know, 
he would do that two, that two freestyle two many times in the two, two, yeah, yeah, yeah. and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And long, there weren't any fights. Um, the majority of the places we went to were sold out. Um, we donated money to Columbine from our um, our checks. I didn't want to do that shit. I did it because everybody else did it and shit in Denver. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was for yeah. a good cause. I, I can say that. I'm glad I did it. Let's say that. But I didn't want to do it at the time. Um, Jay took us all out to see the Matrix and shit, rented the whole movie theater. I was like, ball shit. <laughs> you know, ball shit. Like that. Right. I never done anything like that before. Never, 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 never. You know? I don't think X was there. Um, <laughs> but they, they, you know, all in all, that was a great I fucking, the I would like to think that that tour set the standard for, not even set the standard for touring because that was Fresh Fest. Yeah. Fresh Fest, when that shit used to go out, because they, they, they wouldn't book hip hop acts. They thought it would be a problem, fights, things of that nature. And there were a couple of incidents in different spaces. But based off the fact of that tour being successful, we were able to tour. Mm -hmm. I'll attribute it to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? And uh, based off the fact that we toured, no incidents, you get the up in smoke, Dr. Dre and them right. niggas. You mm -hmm. get cash money in them niggas. And then by the time Puffy got to it, and he did the bad boy mm -hmm. uh, 25th, niggas was airing that shit. I ain't like the dress code, but other than that, they was airing shit uh, out. Prize Picks has got you covered when it comes to helping you make some bread. That's right. Prize Picks is a daily fantasy app where you can select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and turn $25 into $250. Facts. Woo. Prize Picks is simple to play. I can make my picks and submit them in like six, 60 seconds, probably less than that. Be sure to visit prizepicks.com slash 7 p.m. And use promo code 7 p.m. for a deposit match of up to $100. Ooh. In the meantime, stay locked in at 7 p.m. in Brooklyn.